Welcome back everyone, I'm Eric from Rare Candy, and today we are back on PTTGO trying out another Rapid Strike Urshifu variant, but I think today's is going to be probably one of the more unique ones we've messed with so far. Today we're going all in trying to get the turn one Rapid Strike Urshifu with the new Mustard support cards to help cheat our Pokemon out of the discard pile into play. So this was actually requested by one of our patrons, Jordan Robbins, over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. So depending on how much our patrons decide to pledge, one of the perks is they can choose videos for us to cover or decks to cover. Jordan wanted to see something with the new mustard cards and I realized, you know, we haven't really tried out anything with these new unique supporters. So one experiment with Urshifu, this seemed like one of the more viable uh, partners for them, that's for sure. But if you guys want to have a bigger say over the content that appears on this channel and help support us in the process, I'll have a link down below in the description to our Patreon. But before we get any deeper into this video, if you guys can crush that like button, genuinely does help get this video seen by more people. And if you need any cards to complete this deck, you can check out our friends at ptcgostore.com and use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money. And then also Jordan and the rest of our patrons also have their own exclusive discount code for even bigger savings. But getting back in today's deck, of course, Rapid Strike Urshifu is still the star of the show in this deck. Uh, but we're playing a very weird count of this Pokemon. We're playing a 2-4 line uh, because, of course, we are trying to cheat the evolutions out into play with Mustard. I mean, that being said, we still need a couple of regular Urshifu Vs just because if you ever miss the Mustards, it just kind of feels awful. And a lot of times you want to take turns to play other supporters. So you still need to be able to evolve traditionally as well at some point in the game. But of course, the uh, Rapid Strike style Mustard Supporter card, one of these two new Mustard Supporters, um, but it says you can only play these cards when they are the last in your hand. But this one says play Rapid Strike Pokemon from discard onto your bench, then draw five cards. So obviously we are trying to get our Urshifus into the discard ASAP. And that's where this deck gets a little bit challenging. This was definitely a um, a fun experiment in deck building for sure. It was uh, a lot of tweaking, trying to finally get it to where we can successfully consistently get off the turn one mustard. But of course we have four copies of this guy, three evolution incense to also help find our uh, VMAX whenever we need them. And then from there, we need a lot of ways at playing down our hand size. So a lot of things that discard cards. Of course, we have Quick Ball, which is great to help us discard cards from our hand, but search out our Pokemon. We also have Viridian Forest. Not only can this find our energies, but again, helps us discard cards. We have a copy of Great Catcher, which is already, I think, a solid card in Urshifu. But again, just gets even better in this deck because it lowers our hand size. Uh, and then from there, I think one of the more interesting cards we have is going to be Galarian Meow. I will say you actually can choose to play Duskull from Cosmic Eclipse if you want to as well, uh, which discards an additional card, but I actually like the two count as opposed to the three count. It just gives us a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so we're playing no Galarian Preserkers, no Metal Pokemon even, but we're just playing this for the Evolution Roar ability. We can discard two cards from our hand, search a deck for an Evolution um, for this guy. Of course, we don't play Evolutions, but it just allows us to discard two cards, which of course is what we are playing this for. So between all of those, the rest of our deck should allow us to play down our hand pretty successfully. Most of the other cards we have here are ones that we can just immediately play and burn. Um, but also to help get this engine set up a little bit better, we have a Rotom Rotom Phone engine. Rotom Phone is a cool card because it already helps us uh, play down our hand to a low hand size. You can just play this card immediately. But also, th since we are playing a Ranguru and Scoop Up Nets, um, it just kind of makes sense. And we also have the Rotom from Shining Fates to help search out our Rotom phones as well. Um, and the Scoop Up Net engine is really good too because, again, this is such an easy card to just play whenever you need to. So, as you can see, we don't play too many actual draw supporters. We're kind of relying on not only the Mustard, but the Oranguru Rotom phone engine plus the Rotom. And, of course, we still have a Crobat and Dedenne to pick up the slack when need be as well. Um, but the rest of the deck should look very straightforward from there. A couple of you know, common texts like Jirachi and Mew. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the deck. I, I will say this doesn't feel quite as oppressive as some of the other Urshifu decks. I mean, your turn one pressure you can put on going second is really good, but um, it lacks some of the flexibility as some of the other variants because you're cutting out all of your additional attackers like your Dragapults or, you know, whatever you might be pairing your Urshifus with normally and just kind of committing that space to setting up this turn one play. But hey, it's definitely a fun deck and is uh, kind of challenging to build and a little bit challenging to play too. So I'll attend some games and uh, we'll show off how this deck is going to look.
All right, so we lose the coin flip, but at least we kind of want to go second with this deck. Okay, so this actually helps us get the turn one mustard a little bit easier. Now, unfortunately, this hand, not too good, I have to say. <sighs> Starting with all three Rotom Phones also feels kind of bad. Mincino, okay. So first I was thinking maybe ADP. Actually, just go for a dead a change here. <sighs> Having the great catcher is so bad. Oh, actually, no, we can just go for the Meowth. Here we go. Meowth coming in clutch here. So I think we. So, Evolution War, we're going to get rid of these. So, don't need that. Go for the Rotom Phone. Let's see, we probably want Switch. Like, energy would be good, but we have the highest chance of hitting energy of anything. So we'll go for the Switch. And then more than likely, we're just going to keep the Switch there. Um, yeah, so that'll be fine. And we might just get the, the Donk on the first turn. Let's see. Okay, we need energy. That's it. Energy of Iridium. Let's go, guys. We got the turn one KO. Turn one Gale Thrust. Mencino never stood a chance. So, hey, I mean, that's what the deck's supposed to do. So I guess mission accomplished at least. Okay, it's called the coin flip here, which we lose. Okay. Got a metal deck box. So it definitely could be ADP. We'll have to see. Uh, we got to reveal the sauce to them. They can see the, uh, the mustard in our hand. So that actually might influence the way they play. Like if they start Dedenny or something, they might go out of their way to move it, if that's the case. All right, so we might just have to research this turn. We might have to just forgo the mustard. And just an Intrepid Sword. So slow start from our opponent as well, it appears. So I'm going to get down the Mewtwo just in case. So I'm going to grab the Mustard, discard it. And we can always scoop up this Mewtwo at some point if we need to as well. Um, I'll just grab the Quick Ball. It's probably one of our better options here for the following turn. Okay, so I mean, this hand is, is definitely serviceable. So yeah, we'll just strafe into the Mewtwo for the moment. Now, I'm curious if this is going to be Luke Metal or if it's going to be uh, ADP. Luke Metal actually could be pretty bad for us. I think ADP we might have a better shot against. I don't know. Neither one seems great for us, though. I'm not going to lie. I guess the good thing about this deck, if it is like really any Zacian deck, is instead of having to set up more 220 HP Pokemon, we can actually just kind of like subvert that. <laughs> Okay, they're going to play Viridian Force. That's actually, uh, I don't know if that's good or not, because if we draw into ours, ours is suddenly going to be kind of a dead card. And there's some Marty. I'm, I'm actually kind of okay with that. We didn't have um, a Rapid Strike or Shifu in discard anyways. Well, this ain't too good. Not going to lie to you guys. And they have the switch. Yikes. <sighs> Feels bad. This game, I don't think it's going to go too hot for us if I just had to guess, guys. 
So our game plan is Evolution Incense, discard Mew probably, and try to Primate Wisdom and hit uh, a way to draw cards. But let's see what our top deck is before we get a little too carried away here. There's a Mawile. That's fine by me. Actually, the Mew coming down is annoying, but... Alrighty, let's see if we can miraculously win this game. I don't think it's going to happen, guys, but uh, we're going to do our best at least. Now, this actually could be good. We're actually going to discard this. If we rip the, the mustard off the top deck here, that would be sick. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen, but let's see. Primer Wisdom. Big top deck. Uh, let me just get it meow. All right. They got this one. There's literally no way to win. That's what ADP does. Puts you on the clock. Okay. Let's see what we can make happen. We do lose the flip. That's fine. I promise a fire deck box, so they might make us go first. If it's any indication to go by. Okay, but they're going to go first. Best case scenario for us. Alright, so I actually might discard... We might need to actually mustard this Urshifu out. So I'm actually going to start with the Oranguru for the moment. Depending on what our top deck is, we might still bench it. Like, if we top deck Evolution Incense or something, we just bench this guy. Uh, and keep playing as normal. But This hand definitely looks... Pretty promising to be able to pull off what we need, though. Okay, so some sort of uh, bronze on deck. So is this Corviknight? If this is Corviknight, that seems kind of bad for us. Okay, but right now this looks like... Uh, well, it still could be. I was going to say this could be ADP. Okay, but they're playing the Coding Metal, so this has got to be Corviknight. And this is a scary start for our opponent, though. Two, two energy Zacian already. Okay, perfect top deck. So poor Bronzor is not going to know it hit him. All right, so let's quick ball. Discard this. What do we want to get down and play from here? Um, Maybe another Oranguru. I don't hate that. I'm actually kind of cool with that, to be honest. Grab two Rotom Friends. We have two Rangaroo, so we may as well uh, burn them. Um. Yeah, let's say sure. Okay, right in front one. Okay, Viridian. That actually seems pretty good for us. Okay, so Primate Wisdom 1. We'll do the active because we might have to scoop up net to, to get this guy out of play. Then on the other end of this mustard, we can Primate Wisdom... Right in front again, do the whole combo. So turn one mustard, man, this deck is firing off. Like it's doing what it's supposed to, but <laughs> all right. So from there, I mean, is there anything else we really want this turn? Probably just another Urshi, I guess that's okay. Uh, honestly, boss wouldn't be awful either. Actually switch. That's what we're going to need, because we're going to need to switch after this turn. Mm -hmm. 
and I guess we'll just say sure. Okay, so Gale Thrust for the knockout. Hand's not looking too good, so we might need to hit a research or something off of this Pokeyear if we need to. Um, Scissor V. Oh, okay. We got some interesting stuff going on here. All right. Um, well, that's kind of annoying. Now, Zamazenta is also a pain. We don't really have a great answer to Zamazenta. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, are they going to bench anything else? Like, if they just retreat into Zamazenta and say go, it's going to be kind of annoying for us to... Well, I shouldn't say retreat. They should switch into Zamazenta and just pass, probably. So they're going to discard Scissor VMAX. I forget what this guy does. Yeah, reduce your damage by 90 on the following turn. There's just going to be the Brave Blade. All right. So... Before we do anything else, let's just Viridian away Viridian. Grab an energy. Um, hopefully we hit a research, that'd be great. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, guys. So I'm actually gonna save the, one of these switches as well. Well, because if we get scoop up net, we would probably prefer that instead of switch. Oh, that's actually pretty good as well. So we'll just switch into this guy, attach, and research. Okay, so pretty decent hand lined up for this next turn. So I think from there, I think in case of a Marnie, we'd probably just Primate Wisdom and put the research back on top of deck. Okay, so from there, guys, just going to go for the Gale Thrust. Zacian's really the thing we have to deal with immediately. Now we might have to actually set up an Urshifu V soon to deal with this Zamazenta. That's our next issue. So I think that's what, what we want to see this turn, if possible. Okay, and there's a reset stamp. That it's kind of a bummer. We are ready to go on that next turn. Hey, we can definitely still work with this, though. Now, if we could top deck into... Uh... I'm trying to think what we want. Again, I think we just want an Urshifu V at this point. Like, I'd like to be able to keep attacking with this while we set up a regular Urshifu. Okay. Um, probably just promote Rotom, to be honest, guys. If this gets knocked out, that's fine. It's kind of served its purpose. We're already, what, two or three... Yeah, two Rotom foes down. Okay, but they are... Um, they're still benching Pokemon, so that's going to be our out in this game, I think, guys. I mean, Zamazenta is definitely annoying for us, but since they... Since they keep benching stuff for us to attack into, I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about this guy at all. Okay, so there is the Bronzor going back. Probably going to see a Scissor V Max if I had to guess. All right, so that's fine. Don't really care about that. I'm trying to think what our game plan is at this point. We still have to knock out three two prizers or one two prizer and one three prizer. There's actually a world where we mustered this guy out. I kind of <laughs> I think that's actually what we might do, to be honest, guys. So. We definitely great catcher, like absolutely this turn. So I think we'll just do this. All right. Seems okay. Um still have plenty of basic fightings. Let me actually see what we get off the Primate Wisdom. 
So I'd like to save this energy to attach to our next Urshifu. Oh, that's perfect. So let's... Do this. I mean, I mean, now the question is kind of, do we... Do we actually even get another... How many boss do we still have? We still have two boss. Okay, so I, I don't think we care about Zamazenta, actually. I think we're just going to play this kind of as normal. I actually don't want to attach to this guy because he's already kind of damaged. So I might just leave the energy, to be honest. Um, so we'll do this. And just go for the Rapid Strike. Or the Mustard. Get out another Rapid Strike Urshi. Alright, hey, that kind of worked out good for us. So let's just put the... Probably put one of the energies back on top of the deck. Actually, we'll do the boss here. In case of Amarni. Because that's really what we want to see after this turn. So... We know they play Hammer, so I think for that reason, guys, we don't put down the Rapid Strike energies until we need them, at least. Um, I mean, we actually could just go for the G-Max Rapid Flow and take the double KO here. Doesn't seem bad. But if we don't have a switching card, then suddenly our next turn gets a lot worse. Yeah, I think we're going to always be able to do this. Well, if they play Metal Goggles, that's another thing I'm not sure about. I don't know our opponent's list. That's kind of the challenge I have right here. I think for that reason, we're going to do this. If I wasn't worried about Metal Goggles, I actually probably would just spread our energy around a little bit. So let's just go for the G-Max Rapid Flow. They already burned a Reset Stamp, which is really good for us, too. So we'll just do this. And now we're just one knockout away from winning, probably on the Zacian. Two G-Max Rapid Flows wins us the game at this point. Okay, we have a Rotom Phone. Hey, that's a good card. And yeah, the Rotom Phone's the only good card. So if we get Marnied, I honestly don't even care. The Tan's pretty bad. <laughs> so, okay, Marty, that's fantastic. We actually draw back into boss in case we need it. So ideally we hit a switching card and that's it really. Well, this is kind of a switching card, but not the one I want, that's for sure. Okay, so let's put the... I mean, we actually could... I actually should have probably hit Wisdom first. My bad, guys. So let's just do this. Um, how many screw-up nets do we have left? Oh, we still have plenty. So I'm actually going to do this. Probably put this on the other end of our... Uh, maybe we should have just scooped up the Rotom, but I kind of like having the Air Balloon in play too, so... So we're going to boss. And yeah, this is fine. Okay, that works out pretty good. So evolution incense, just grab this guy. We can always just toss it away. So what do we want at this point? We just want energy, really, for this guy over here. So let's just switch into Rotom. Get rid of Rapid Strike Urshifu. So let's see, check our energy too, because we know they play Energy Denial. So we have two more Fightings and three Rapid Strikes after this turn. So 
So I'll actually pick this guy up. Because I actually might want to Rotom Phone again, too. I think from there we'll just save this hand for the following turn, more than likely. Because we can do some, like, Mewtwo shenanigans where we can boss this guy again if we need to. So I think for the moment we'll just go for the Gale Thrust. We need a switching card with it. That's the issue. So just hit this guy for 150. And then hopefully next turn we're going to be able to have game. So I think our opponent made a little bit of a misstep over benching a little bit with this Zamazenta. I mean, if they just have this one Zamazenta, that would have been kind of a pain for us to deal with. I mean, even Scizor is pretty annoying, but there's going to be Marnie. Kind of a bummer. Kind of actually liked her hand, guys. We were kind of set up in a winning position. Okay. Crushing Hammer. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. So now we can't snipe this guy. Now, the good thing is, that's not a Metal Goggle. So that means one more G-Max Rapid Flow is going to win, unless they play Mew. Alright, so is there a world where we win? We can we can Mewtwo. So we just need to hit energy, right? We seem to switch off of Rotom Phone. So let's get rid of Meowth. Get rid of Mew. I mean we could even let's say actually maybe we should have just gone for Mew? Oh no, we would have been a little bit shy of the back-to-back -back side power knockouts. Well, I guess they would have knocked on Mew either way, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Mew is actually probably not the play. Okay, so we need a switch off of this Rotom Phone. Oh, we did not get there, guys. That feels bad. Um... Not really what we wanted. So I think we'll just do this. Put boss back on top of deck. And just research. All right, so we're kind of cool for the next turn. We just need to, let's prime wisdom, put a rapid strike energy back in deck. At that point, I think we're kind of chilling. I mean, they can do what, 190? That, which isn't a knockout. So I think we're actually fine just to pass at this point, guys. Just gonna take our time. As long as they don't have like another hammer and heads, that would definitely be a pain for us, but I think other than that, like even a Luke Metal wouldn't stop game at this point, because, hey, there's Crushing Hammer. Tails, okay, so our opponent, yeah, there's the victory screen, guys. Again, I think them over benching is really what caused their downfall in that, in that game there, because we had game ready for next turn. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna wrap up our look here at the turn one Urshifu deck that we're uh, trying out today. Definitely a, um, you know, like I said at the beginning of this video, I think this is definitely a very fun experiment. If you guys want to get better at sequencing your plays, uh, this is actually kind of a decent deck and standard to do that. Just making sure you do everything in the right order and kind of navigating that tricky, um, you know, pattern of play to get your hand down to just that mustard is kind of challenging. And like I said, kind of a challenging deck building exercise as well. So definitely feel free to try this one out. Probably not as good as some of the other Urshifu variants, but still a fun deck if if nothing else. And also too, just a big shout out to our patron Jordan for requesting this. If you guys want to have a bigger say over the content that appears on this channel, I have a link down below in the description so you can learn about how to join our Patreon. It does help support the channel and you guys get uh, you know some cool perks along the way as well. But that's today's video. If you guys did enjoy, of course, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. That way you'll be up to date whenever my next video drops. And if you want to take your support to the next level, you can always join Jordan and the rest of the Candy crew over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or pick up some merch over at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.